There is no doubt at all that AI is changing the way that many industries operate and that is especially true for Google Ads. So in this video, I wanna take you through the ways in which I think you should be preparing if you wanna make sure that you've still got a job as a Google Ads specialist, whether that's working inside of a company or as your own freelancer or as your own agency owner, and to really make sure that that job still exists and it's not replaced by AI in the coming months and years. Now, up until now, I've kind of stayed out of this conversation. And the reason for that is not because I haven't seen this change coming, but I really wanted to let the dust settle a little bit and also start to use some different AI tools to really see the best way that Google Ads specialists like me can leverage them for the future. Now, pretty much the day after ChatGPT became available to the public, which was on November the 30th in 2022, I've had people asking me all the time, you know, am I worried about my job in the future? Do I think that an AI is going to take over all of Google ads? You know, I'm sure you've had all of those doomsday scenarios before. To put it really, really plainly in what I think will be coming happening over the coming weeks, months and years, I don't think you can look five years down the track because things are just changing so fast. But I'm not worried about my job in the future. Now, hear this in the right way. I do think there will be a lot of job losses inside of Google Ads. I also think as well that the way that we operate and the way that we manage Google Ads campaigns will change. And for me, what it really comes down to is that if you are aware of what is happening within our industry, especially inside of Google Ads and how we optimize Google Ads campaigns, if you're aware of those changes and you're already starting to use some AI tools and introduce it into your workflow, I'm not really worried about the future. What I'm worried about is people who are not looking at this and not thinking about how this is gonna change our industry and how it has already changed our industry. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through the three things that I recommend that you should be doing right now so that you don't lose your job to AI in the coming weeks, months, and years. As we sit right now at the start of 2025, you still very much do need a strategic approach to optimizing your Google Ads campaigns. So if you don't yet have access to my Google Ads optimization checklist, which has now been downloaded by over 120,000 Google Ads specialists, which just completely blows my mind. But if you want to get access to my Google Ads optimization checklist, follow that link in the description below, and it takes you through the step-by-step -step process that I use to optimize all of my search, shopping, performance max, display, video, and also demand gen campaigns. But right now, let's get into these three things that you need to be doing now so that your job isn't replaced by an AI robot or AI bot or whatever you want to call it in the coming weeks, months, and years. And the first thing is that you need to understand that the way that people are searching is changing. Google has been rolling out change after change after change over the coming years. And this has been really supercharged since the end of 2021. And in that time, they've changed the way that search terms operate. They've also introduced new types of campaigns like Performance Max and Demand Gen. They've also taken away other campaigns like Smart Shopping, Local Campaigns and Discovery Campaigns. Right now, they are closing off video action campaigns, which is being upgraded to demand gen campaigns. So there's a lot of changes which are happening. There are two extremes in this debate. There are the people who are just rolling with the changes and just working it into their everyday type of Google Ads life. And there's others that are still trying to hold on to how Google used to operate going back, you know, five, six, seven years ago. Now I've said it publicly, give me a single keyword ad group with a broad match modifier and a landing page. And I am happy. You know, I did really used to love that period of Google Ads and how it operated, but that has changed. And the reason for why it has changed is because the way that people are approaching search and interacting with search is changing and it's changing fast. And that's the real thing that I don't think many people have picked up on. Although I love the way that Google Ads used to operate, I love the strategies that had worked, you know, for going on, they, they you could use the same strategies for about 10 years and it was a great period. But search is changing. It doesn't mean that we throw out all those strategies and throw out all that expertise, but we need to adapt to the way that the user is interacting with search. Because the biggest changes that are coming to Google Ads have nothing to do with the Google Ads dashboard. They have got to do with how the user is engaging in search. 
Check this out. So right now we're looking at data from seorainetable.com and what it's looking at is the cross-platform share research. And this was relevant up until October last year. And as you can see, ChatGPT is coming up on 5% of the market. Now, Google still overwhelmingly has the lion's share of this search market. But the other thing you need to remember with Google search is the way that people interact with Google search is changing. Now, Google has already started to roll out conversational-based search within Gemini, which is gonna grow over the coming months and years. So even though Google search may still have the largest percentage of search, the way that people search will change. So it won't just be the old school like we do now, put in your individual search terms. You may start with a search term, but then it's gonna switch over to a conversational behavior, which will take into account a lot more of what Gemini or what chatbot, what whichever one you're using, knows about you, knows about your previous history. And this is where the changes to broad match and also the introduction of new campaign types like Performance Max and Demand Gen will become so important. Because if you are only focusing on search and shopping campaigns, which for me are still primarily campaigns where you start and then you build out these other types of campaigns. But if you're only doing high intent marketing by targeting those real high buyer intent of searches where people are ready to buy now, which is how you saw success in Google Ads for so long, what is gonna happen is that other brands or your competitors that are engaging buyers earlier in the buying cycle through performance max through video through demand gen through broader search terms when they're actually ready to buy and they type in that search and high search intent keyword the cpc is going to be too expensive for you and well, this is what something that we're already starting to see is that when you set up an account right using performance max to reach out to new customers using video to start your messaging before they're even ready to buy you can see super super high conversion rates in your shopping campaign. I'll give you one example of an e-commerce brand we're building right now. Their shopping campaign is converting at over 13%. But the only reason it's converting so high is because it's focusing on people who have already been on our website. So we're using Performance Max to introduce them to our product and then we're using search and shopping to really own those high intent keywords. This is a really, really big subject. So if you stick around to the end of this video, I'm gonna show you the exact strategy that I'm using in that case. But the main thing I want you to think about right now is that the biggest changes that are coming to Google Ads have nothing to do with the Google Ads dashboard. And it's all about how users are actually interacting with search and their search patterns. So the first thing is understand what is actually gonna be changing and how our industry is gonna change. The second thing, and this is something that I really, really recommend is that especially from the start of 2025, you wanna be doing at least two audits a year of the AI tools that you're using, the automation processes that you're using. And the reason for why this is so important because historically, if you were an in-house marketing team, your Google Ads account was getting so large, you needed some extra help, you just hire an extra specialist. Or if you are an agency or a freelancer and your client list grew so far that you couldn't handle it yourself or with your current team, the first thing you would do was, would be that you would hire more staff. That has now changed. And what I would say the first step would be is looking at where you can automate the process. And what this is gonna allow in the future is it will mean that you could have digital agencies that operate with 50 staff could scale back to 10 staff and actually manage more customers than what they've got now. Or if you're a freelancer and you're a team of one person, or you might just have you and a support, you might have been limited at 20 accounts, whereas now you might be able to double or triple the amount of accounts that you can take on. And for me, that's where a lot of those job losses that I was talking about will occur from, because what these AI tools are going to do, they're going to allow highly skilled Google Ads professionals to leverage their capacity. Now, there was a great podcast that was released by Lex Ferdman. It goes for five hours. So if you really want to watch it, go and watch it. I'm actually on my second listen, because I think it's such an important podcast for anyone in this space. But a couple of things that he spoke about, and he was interviewing two AI specialists who are, you know, writing their own codes, part of AI companies. So intently know how these systems work because they're part of the teams that are developing them. And they were all on this consensus. And Lex Verbman said this great quote of AI still needs a human in the loop. And what they were really talking about, one of the key points of their five hour interview is all about this point that domain expertise enhances AI effectiveness. So what AI will do is it'll make a Google Ads expert even more proficient in their domain. But it can only happen if you truly understand how Google Ads works. And the reason for this is because at the moment, and they are even predicting for the foreseeable future, that human oversight is still really, really important with AI. And the reason for this is because right now, humans still are able to connect better with humans 
don't know the human buyer patterns. AI is an effective tool at really pulling data together and making the best decisions, but it's not able to really go into those connection points. And for a Google Ads specialist who uses AI, that's where it's going to be able to really enhance their skills. So essentially what you actually become is the Google Ads specialist will become the supervisor to the AI tool. And for me, this is where it really comes down to really having a core understanding of how each Google Ads campaign works, but also aligning that with the individual business. And this is where you really need to be building in the right campaign structures feeding in the correct data, which is most important to the AI learning within Google Ads. So with the core message being that the AI is only effective as the human who is supervising it or pointing it in the right direction. So that's why I really think now is a golden opportunity for Google Ads specialists who have already got a high level of expertise or are prepared to learn how Google Ads works. They're the ones that are gonna succeed in the future because when they then combine their skill set with AI, it allows them to have greater capacity and leverage that skill set that they know and be able to give their clients much better results. And then this really brings us to, I think, what will be the biggest change inside of our industry. And I'd be encouraging you right now to rework your value propositions. If you're going to the market and only talking about, as a Google Ads specialist, you go through and review their negative keywords or rewrite their ad copy or you know review their data, you're gonna become obsolete very, very quickly. One of the core things that will always be true for success with Google Ads, you need to have two core elements of fundamental knowledge. You need to understand how Google Ads works, but you need to also understand how the business works. And for me, that will become the future role of the Google Ads specialist, whether they're in-house or whether they're an external freelance or an external agency, is they're able to bring those two worlds together and really plan out a core strategy that will work for that business. So for me, the core message I really want you to hear is don't be scared of the coming changes that is happening within AI. If you can start educating yourself, start using these tools now, you won't have to worry about job security in the future. So that's my thoughts. Look, if you've got your own thoughts, I'd love to hear your thoughts to so put them down in the comments. Remember, if you need to grab access to my checklist, you can also see that link in the description below. And this is a discussion which I've been having for quite a while and I actually had Frederick, who's the CEO of Optimizer, who offers a great AI tool. And if you'd like to see more about my interview with him, I want you to go through and watch this video right here. See you next time.